Hey guys, David Risley here with PCMech.com and uh, I just installed VMware Fusion 2.0 on my Mac Pro. Now you can see I've got three screens here on the Mac Pro and uh, what I thought I would do would just be to give a quick tour from, from an end user perspective on exactly why VMware Fusion 2.0 is a really cool upgrade for Mac users. Uh, so let's jump over to the computer and let me show you. Okay, so just jumping over to the screencast uh, portion of this for just a second, you can see what I've got here is basically Internet Explorer 7 running here on the Mac, and I can move it around the whole nine yards. I'll show you in a minute how I can actually move that over to different screens, which is something you could not do in the previous version of VMware Fusion. Over here I've got Live Writer, and it's running just fine on the Mac. Now if we jump up to the uh, applications menu, now this is not new, but you can actually basically access your entire Windows start menu right here from the uh, Mac menu. Uh, any of these programs here that are installed under Windows on this machine, I can launch. Uh, for example, let's take uh, WinMerge. And there we go, it launched all maximized here, but let me put this into normal size. And you can see I've got myself yet another Windows program running on the Mac. Now you can see that it's got a little bit of a shadow of the Windows desktop behind it. Now that did happen on the previous version of uh, VMware Fusion as well. Uh, you know, this is not running natively on the Mac. I mean, you, we, we all know this. So obviously what it's basically doing is hiding the Windows desktop behind it and doing its best to integrate this program in with the desktop. But if we jump down here to the dock for a moment, you can see that I've got these three Windows programs. There's Live Writer, there's Internet Explorer, and over here is WinMerge. And they're all sitting right here in my OS X dock, which is pretty cool. I can actually also create shortcuts. I can keep this thing in the dock and actually launch it, just like any other Mac program, which is really cool. Jumping up here to the menu one more time, under Virtual Machine, you can see that they've got McAfee Virus Scan Plus integrated right into VMware Fusion now. So I can actually install this right into the Windows installation. And it comes with a 12 month complimentary subscription to uh, Virus Scan updates, which is pretty cool. Um, you, know, you know, Windows is still subject to viruses and security problems, even if it's installed in a virtual machine. So let me jump over to the the uh, cam again, and I'm going to show you how we can move these things from screen to screen, which is, the, to, for me, the biggest improvement over VMware Fusion 2.0. Okay, we're just flipping all over the place here. I'm we're now ha hand holding my foot camera, and you can see that we're looking at my main widescreen that I was just recording. And here's WinMerge here, and here's Internet Explorer. Now here's what's really new about VMware uh, Fusion 2.0. I can actually move this thing over to this other screen. That was something I could not do uh, with the prior version of VMware. In fact, I can move this thing all the way over and it's now on my screen number three. Moving back over to Live Writer over here. I can move that thing over here. You know, this to me, this is a humongous plus. I mean, I obviously have three screens attached to this Mac, and uh, it was a pain in the butt not being able to move them off of the one screen. So, now we can. So there you have it. I've just shown you what I really like about VMware Fusion 2.0. Here's the thing, and this is one of the major reasons I switched to the Mac. You just can't do this on a Windows machine. Um, I, you know, you can do... Here's the thing, you can run virtual machines under Windows. You can do that all day long. However, OS X is something that you cannot run inside of Windows. Uh, it's, it's a limitation that Apple, quite frankly, builds right into it. They don't want anybody being able to do that. So in order to be able to run any operating system, and to be able to do it as seamlessly as I just showed you, you pretty much have to have a Mac. And that's one of the main reasons I switched to it. So I don't want to get into a Mac versus PC debate here, but that is one of the main reasons I did it. And uh, I mean, I've got two gigabytes of RAM dedicated to my virtual machine, uh, Windows XP. Um, Windows Vista didn't run quite as smoothly last time I tried it, but that was with 1.0. I might actually give it another whirl with uh, uh, 2.0. However, you know, Windows XP does the job just fine, and it's a lot more supported probably across the board than uh, Vista still. So, anyway. I'm really happy with it and I want to thank VMware for doing it. We really needed the multiple screens, at least I did.